this is the <coughs> second session of thermodynamics in first session we have discussed the definition of thermodynamics definition of system surrounding boundaries universe thermodynamic equilibrium types of properties and different types of system now let us move ahead in second session we will discuss about different types of process so process has been mainly classified into three categories first process is cyclic process the process is said to be cyclic if the initial and final point are same at the end of process and its name is cyclic that means initial and final point are same at the end of process so the process will be said to have undergone through cyclic process if it restores its original point at the end of process such so, types of process is called cyclic process next process is reversible process reversible process it is very important you need to understand very clearly because in our basic section we will discuss everywhere the reversible process the reversible process is plays very important role so you need to understand clearly what is reversible process as its name the reversible process that means a process is reversed every word have some fixed meaning every word have some specific meaning the process is said to be reversible if direction is reversed both system and surrounding restores its original state without any losses this is very important without any losses that means if direction reversed if follow the same path and both system and surrounding not only systems not only surrounding both system and surrounding restores its original state without any losses there should not be any losses if losses will be there the process will not be reversible process the process will be called irreversible process so for, for process to be reversible both system and surroundings should be restored its original point original state without any losses if direction is reversed so this is very important this is all about the reversible process next process is quasi static process quasi static process once again just we will go we will focus on its word every words have some specific meanings quasi static process this quasi and static there are two words quasi and static very slow the very slow process if process is carried out very slowly the such process is called quasi static process that means during quasi static process the process is carried out very slowly and the losses are minimal if any process is carried out very slowly then in that condition losses will be minimal this is an important fact and and in the other hand if process is carried out very fastly in that condition the losses will be maximum suppose that one daily life example is there suppose that if you used to write very fast then your handwriting will be poor if you used to write very slowly very carefully then handwriting will be fine and there might be chance of less mistake if you write any paragraph in slow manner so just this it's virtue of this slow process if any process is carried out very slowly the losses will be minimum and if carried out fastly the losses will be mix, maximum so what 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 the quasi static process means this process is carried out very slowly and during this process this losses will be obviously minimum 
losses is minimum not negligible this is important you need to remember you, you need to focus on the statement losses is minimum not neglected so one very important question is there whether this quasi static process is reversible or not whether this quasi static process is reversible or not the answer will be no the quasi static process is not a reversible process because the losses is there even this losses are small but losses are considered that's why this process is not reversible the question rises when this process will be called reversible quasi static process when these losses are neglected suppose that losses in first case losses were there but losses are small if these losses are neglected in that condition the process will be called as reversible because we have discussed in reversible process while discussing about reversible process in during reversible process losses are neglected there is no loss if losses were there this this is quite negligible so this quasi static process will be known as reversible quasi static process if this losses are neglected which is quite a small so this is very important okay so basically we have discussed the different types of process the cyclic process that is in at the end of process both initial and final point are same next is the reversible process if there's a reverse both system and surrounding it restores its original point without any losses and third one the quasi static process the quasi static process that process where when it is carried out very slowly then such process is called quasi static process one interesting example of quasi static processes i want to discuss this one suppose that a 25 kg of mass is placed over the spring we listen carefully a 25 kg of mass is placed over the spring as this this mass of 25 kg is placed over the spring the spring compresses and as this mass is removed from this spring then what do we observe that the expansion of a spring is sudden the ex a spring expands in upward direction all of a sudden so in that condition the expansion of a spring is very fast so this is the process this expansion of spring is very fast manner during this expansion since process is carried out this expansion is carried out very fast rate therefore this losses will be maximum this is the first case and another case let us just this 25 kg of mass is split it into half kg of several half kg of masses half 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 that means 25 kg means 50 strips this 25 kg of mass is split it into 50 half kg of strips and this this mass of every half kg is removed again and again as this half kg of mass is removed from the spring the ex ex spring expands in upward direction and this expansion is very slow because only half kg of mass is removed from the spring so in that condition it is observed that the expansion of spring is very slight again once again the half kg of mass is removed again this, this expansion will be there but this expansion will be very slow right so again and again as half of kg of mass is removed one by one from this spring we found that even though expansion is there in this case also but this expansion is carried out very slowly because every times you use to remove half kg of strip mass so this is the case of quasi static process quasi static in this case this spring is expanded very slowly right? so this is the case of quasi static in the first case the expansion of a spring was very fast manner in that condition losses was maximum but in that condition in this if a spring is stressed spring is stressed ex expand in a very slow manner in that condition losses will be minimum so this is the real example of quasi static process okay thank you we'll meet in next lesson